So I want to do a little a little video about uh, my water pump, my water tank design, um, because I think it's very effective and simple, which you can see right here. I think it's very effective and simple and modular, um, and I haven't seen other people do it this way. Um, so what you can see here um, is basically what I did is I framed the fresh water tank uh, with these two. So first of all, I put a piece of plywood on the bottom uh, which is good because anyways, because it'll uh, guard the water tank from getting scratched or anything if it's moved. And then I kind of put on these two wood belts, wooden belts around it, which is gonna help first of all, uh, because water tanks can bulge uh, when they're filled up. This is a 75 gallon water tank, uh, which I'm putting in my school bus. Um, and I'm right now under the bed. This is like a flip up bed made out of 80-20, but that's for a different video because um, I'm talking about the plumbing system here or really just the fresh water tank system. Um, and then what I did was I figured like, uh, what is a water tank made out of? It's made, what is a water system made out of? It's made out of a water tank and then it basically has a couple of connectors in the back and then it has a pump and an, a pump and an accumulator. Um, and then basically that tees off and then it's gonna go on to the continuation of the plumbing system. Uh, but I figured, why not make this whole system one standalone unit that can be moved? And then the interface to it is just one uh, half inch PEX uh, elbow connector, which you can run to anywhere. You can run it to the side of the bus or up or down or wherever you want. Um, but the beauty of this thing is that it's um, literally it's one unit. So I've connected all the tubing for it and I'm gonna show also the tubing in the back. So I've connected all the tubing for this to system and then what I did is so this is all ready to go and it can move right so this is all pretty cool so it's like the pump is connected to this belt the accumulator is connected to this belt um, these they're connected using uh, this vinyl pipe which is good for against vibrations uh, so the water will be like this pump it'll be this it'll make the water delivery kind of smoother um, and then the water goes around the back the water hose goes around the back and then here I also did something Creative, which I haven't seen other people do um, and I don't know why not um, so these uh, uh, a cl class customs I think it's called a class customs water tanks they come with four um, holes uh, they're not really holes because two of them are holes they're half inch uh, female NPT thread and then the other two they're one and a half inch NPT but they're they're threaded but they're actually sealed so they're not actually open um, and then what I saw a lot of people do is they cut open these things and then use all four um, connectors. All, they use all four um, interfaces. Uh, but that's really unnecessary because basically what do you need? You need, first of all, a vent. So, and the vent needs to be at the top. So you definitely need to have one of the things at the top for a water system. So this is my vent. And obviously I'm gonna run some hosing out of here to take it out. Um, so, but basically what you need is a vent and then a water delivery. And then you also need a water fill. Um, so what I did is I used this cool little Y valve. It's a garden uh, hose adapter. Um, on the back, it's a female garden hose. And on the front, it's a Y uh, with two male garden hose uh, threads. Um, and it has a ball valve for each one. Um, so really what you can do, you can use this. So the water the, the delivery can go out through here. And all I would need to do is just open this valve and then the water would stream up through here and then into the pump and into our system. And then if I want to fill, basically all I need to do is just close this and then I can attach a hose, the water fill hose to this and then just open this and then pump water. Um, so that's like a super simple solution. Um, and then the other cool thing that a lot of people like to have is a drain. But honestly, this is a drain as well because I just need to connect a drain hose to this and then run it outside the back of the bus and then I can drain all the water. So it's like, this is like a super easy and efficient method to get all the functionality you need. And I'm only using two ports out of the four. Um, and then granted what I have here is a power fill because as you can see, like this, the fill is from the bottom. So it's gonna, if I can't do a gravity fill here. So really what's missing is a gravity fill. But honestly, what I was planning to do here is just put a gravity fill, but that would re require me to make uh, this cut, 
which isn't a big deal, but I was just showing like how simple it'll be because most people don't gravity fill and it's really hard to gravity fill a 75 gallon tank. Like you're not going to be carrying jugs to fill up a 75 gallon tank. It's almost always going to be a hose. And then if it's going to be a hose, why not just do a power fill? Um, so yeah, I'm undecided whether or not to make a gravity fill here. I have the one and a half inch hose tubing and stuff that I can do with it. Um, but um, I just kind of like the simplicity of this two port design. Um, and it really, and then it just makes the whole, my whole supply side of my water system is just right here. And it's all standalone. I literally, the only thing I need to do is put a PEX tubing to the end of the accumulator and then I can go. So that's really cool and simple. Um, I saw a lot of people do much more complicated things and I don't know why. And this is literally, so this, in order to interface with this adapter, so I, this is a, uh, one half, a uh, one half inch female NPT. So I needed to use a female to male garden hose adapter. And then here, this is a one half, uh, inch NPT, um, female, like barb thing. So I needed to use another garden hose adapter, female to male, uh, NPT. Um, but yeah, that's it. It's just like super simple and straightforward. And then I can take this and move it and place it anywhere I want in the bus. So I know, even though I know basically where it's going to go, I don't know necessarily exactly where it's going to go and how I'm going to attach it or where I'm going to attach it exactly. But yeah, that's why this standalone system where the pump and the accumulator are sitting right on the side of the, of the water tank is just like amazing. And then you got the added bonus of the plywood on the bottom, which is just uh, covering the, which is just guarding the, the freshwater tank, which is relatively delicate to scratches. And I got like all sorts of like metal stuff. Like I got this L track on the bottom of my bus and whatever. So it's good to just protect it. Um, yeah. So I just got so many fun, so much functionality in one simple thing. And then I can also put another, a third belt strap if I want. I didn't do the symmetrical. Also, I'm planning to use the front of this as like a stair. So I'm going to put a second stair over here and then you can just walk up and get onto the high bed, which is, so this is going to kind of like stick out beyond the bed and then it'll have two little stairs and then we'll be able to get up onto the bed. How cool is that? Sorry. And then obviously one other, the last thing is obviously the wiring for the pump. So the wiring here is I, what I did is I used Anderson power poles. So literally I need just an extension uh, power pole to this and then I can just click it in and I got electricity. So that's like the, the last building block like the little the last little piece of this whole system is just a little bit of electricity to run the water pump so also that i decided to do in like the simplest most modular design uh that could possibly be and then there's the whole system it's dope <laughs>